Sammy Guevara just oh. he just took out Brian Danielson on the outside oh. in the center of the ring. Claudio Castagnoli locked in the walls of Jericho. No, the walls trouble. are locked in tight. So good. Up to the top of the drop kick blast Jericho. Explosive comes. You can see it. It's coming. Oh, what a great match to begin this final Watch. night of Dynamite. Watch the floor full of full gear. The plant foot. Look at the plant foot of Dan and how he points. Night. Time and time again, we have seen Claudio Castagnoli when it comes to just a straight up rest. ทางเข้าประตูนี่นะครับผมไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่
Ich bin hier im Pang. His name. Uh, today. You can tap her into I forgot his name. Can you show me the picture or not? The photo? The leader. What is it? I have to go. I'm not really, you know, I'm not really familiar with their names. What? Oh, whatever I got. Oh yeah, this one. Whatever I got up here is what I have. So. Oh. Anything else? Thank you. <laughs> นี่ก็จะเป็นเสียงแต่โปรเฟสชั่นอลขนาดนี้ครับคุณผู้ชมท่านผู้ชมเข้ามาเข้าเก็บต้องเอาทิกเก็ตให้เจ้าเบิร์
Đây nè, đây em lên nó bắt Explosive shotgun like drop kick. What a shot. And that was a huge choice for Jericho right there. If he had cut bait too early, he could have avoided the drop kick, but he may not have inflicted as much punishment on the spine of Claudio Castelli. Yeah, no, no, I think you're exactly right, Excalibur, for sure. And right now, Danielson, man, he is, his chest is like a piece of raw roast beef, and he wants more of Sammy Guevara, and Sammy's not backing down. What a rivalry with these two men. First thing he said to Sammy, was that it? Bring it, and boy, Sammy's bringing it. He's hitting Ooh, his own and, head, you and, can and see Brian, that. Yeah, Brian's trying to block that yeah, cross, Taz. That, that's physicality, oh. that's what Danielson's bringing. Big time rolling elbow strike, that rocked Sammy Guevara. Line him up for a round kick, guys, there it comes, you can see it, it's coming. Oh, what a great match to begin this final Watch. night of Dynamite. That's the more full of full gear. The plant foot. Look at the plant foot of Dance and how he points it out on the impact. That's part of the key with your hip to bring that power in those rounds. And again, oh. Guevara going to the eye. I hate it, but it's perfect strategy Ooh. from Guevara. Right back to the eye again. And that knee strike coming in on the left side. Danielson may not have been able to see it coming. And now Sammy, he's got Danielson up the GTH attempted. Uh-oh. But Danielson went between the legs, brings him down. Looking for the... He's almost got it in and then wrenching back here at caliber and sammy Guevara now trapped center of the ring he might have to tap out here taz he got the knees out under him though he That's got the right. hips back up he's got to try to sit out or get to that bottom rope he's made it yeah sammy Guevara. as soon as he got his knees under him as you pointed out ian he was able to become more mobile and make it to the bottom rope to force the break Danielson keeping the pressure on. Certainly as he likes to follow his opponents up here. The chops blistering the chest again, Excalibur. We need to be very careful up here, though. And it's got to be tough for both Danielson and Guevara to rein in their emotions after that incredible two uh -oh. out of three falls match one week ago. And look oh, at this, God, Guevara. See, how can you keep your balance up top when you're wrestling basically with one eye? That's, that's what I don't understand. So someone's biting your head, too. Look at this. Oh, oh. Sammy with the cut. A lot of impact for both men, but definitely Danielson ate it big time. And Chris Jericho, the lion salt. Could this be it? The fog is hooked. Two and no, Claudio. Oh, he just bulldogged his way through there. Well, 
Ayala did. Great save for his teammate. His teammate tonight, but as you mentioned, Taz, it'll be every man. Oh, the son of the Saturday night in full gear. Talk about elevation. Yes, no, that's on Mondays, Tony. Oh, thank you. <laughs> as Chris Jericho, he's he's looking maybe for the tag for Sammy Guevara, but saw Sammy was on the floor, so instead sends Danielson into the ropes and a wild swing and a miss. Two, and then, oh, a oh, collision. Looked like they went head-to-head, -head Excalibur. I, I agree, yeah, they, man. It looked like the foreheads hit that time. They did. I think both of them maybe had the same thing in, in mind. Like a car wreck out here on I-95. And both men, though, smart enough to, to reposition to look for the corner. The tags made this to Claudio here. Oh. Uh, Chris wants Floyd. He wants that bat. Oh, oh Danielson! Danielson just wiped out Guevara on the floor. And Jericho with the bat. Aubrey Edwards doesn't see it. No, no, Aubrey does not. The ref does. Uh oh. Oh, double leg. And oh. now the. Yeah! yeah. That giant yeah. swing! Giant swing and bat. Four rotations. Five rotations. Oh, my Six. God. Take it to 100, Claudio. Claudio Castagnoli. Bat or no, he has <laughs> taken Chris Jericho it's, it's for going a forever. ride. This is wild. This, I love it. I think it's cool. It's kind of mesmerizing. I, I like it, bugging out right now. Yeah. <laughs> and Jericho, Stepping through. Jer oh, Jericho tried to hit Claudio with the bat. Claudio just disarmed him. And now locks in the Scorpion Deadlock with the bat over his Look shoulder. Look at this. He's going to turn out. He got him. And Claudio Castagnoli once again had Chris Jericho's number. Brian Danielson There's and Claudio Castagnoli. Claudio's got to be your favorite, I think, now going into Saturday night. Time and time again, we have seen Claudio Castagnoli when it comes to just a straight-up wrestling match. He can beat Chris Jericho. Will that be the story this Friday, or excuse me, this Saturday night at Full Gear? But remember, there's two other men in that
Jewish money? Is it shocking for a man to refuse to be a victim? Is it shocking to hear somebody state a fact that they want something from you and you take it? Hey, are the AEW World Trail Champion, the Bastard Pack?
John Oxley, and I am the AEW World Champion. So who exactly is John Moxley? I'll tell you, I am the best professional wrestler on planet Earth. I am the baddest son of a bitch in this game. I talk shit and I back it up. I have traveled the world far and wide seeking the toughest challenges. I have taken all con on all covers and I have defied the AEW World Championship. The announcers say, like, oh, John Marshall, he loves the fight. Like, it's a good thing. Like, it's something to uh, be admired. It's not. I'm sick in the head, man. I'm literally sick in the head. I am addicted. No bullshit. No bullshit. Everybody listen to me real quick. A lot, a lot of bullshit has gone on. A lot of bullshit. We all know it. We all know it. However, let me make something crystal clear. Me and you, we've been at odds once or twice. I'm not going to stand here and pretend that's not the case. But there's something I take issue with that I've been seeing lately. Everybody make some noise if you're a fan of professional wrestling. Now, you guys think you're wrestling fans. Imagine, imagine for one second if you had the opportunity. However, however, hear me out, hear me out. Your favorite wrestlers don't get paid properly and don't eat properly unless Tony Khan makes that alternative. I'm just gonna keep it real with you. I'm carrying this goddamn place in my back. 